So now in this video we're going to talk about the schematic symbol for the bipolar junction transistor. So I should have wrote NPN there but uh, this is okay. This is a schematic symbol for the NPN bipolar junction transistor. That's the chemical makeup. You can look at other videos about uh, the chemical makeup. But uh, here we're going to talk about the uh, schematic symbol. So you can think of NPN if you look at this arrow it's not pointing in. The arrow is pointing out. So that's how you know it's an NPN bipolar junction transistor. There's also a PNP bipolar junction transistor. And I keep saying bipolar junction transistor instead of transistor because there's also uh, FET transistors. And uh, so they're quite a bit different. They're schematic symbols and stuff, electrical properties. We're just going to focus on the bipolar junction transistor here. So we got a PNP bipolar junction transistor. The arrow is pointing in. And uh, I don't know that there's a saying for that, but uh, you can see the arrow's pointing in towards the base. We'll come to that later. So now the PNP bipolar junction transistor, when you're looking at a schematic diagram, will probably be drawn more like this. So the NPN will probably have the emitter down at the bottom, whereas the PNP will probably have the emitter at the top. So you can see emitter there. That's how you know where the emitter is, where you see the arrow for that. The uh, pin layout. If it starts with 2N, that's an N, I know the, uh, I told the printer I was low on black ink to substitute other colors to fill in with uh, black. And uh, looks like uh, when I put the new ink cartridge in, it's still doing that. But in case, that's 2N3904. If it begins with 2N and it's a bipolar junction transistor, and I mean literally 2N, nothing before it, then it probably has this pin layout with emitter to the left, base in the middle, and collector to the right. So uh, pretty much all my videos, that's the uh, transistor uh, pin layout for this TO92 package right here. This is uh, the, the main one that comes with kits and stuff, what they look like. So I also have a C945 uh, in a kit. I just yanked it out, looked up its pin layout on a data sheet. And it was a still emitter with the left pin, but now the collector is the middle pin and the base is the right pin. So if you got a new part number, make sure you look it up. So we have to take the uh, schematic diagram. Let's uh, go with the NPN. I didn't look at whether this was NPN or PMP. I just looked at the pin layout. But in any case, when you have a component, let's say going to the base, then you need to look at which pin is the base. So looking at the flat side, you put it to the middle pin for the 2N3904. And for the CN45, you would put it to the pin on the right when you're looking at the flat side right there. So that's what you would connect the component to. And that's all I gotta do. Same thing with the collector. Whatever component's going to the collector there, you look at the uh, connection point right there and you connect it to the right pin there or the middle pin for uh, that transistor. Pretty straightforward. Now, the uh, transistor. I wrote that uh, part number right there. Hopefully, if you're reading a schematic, they gave you a part number. Maybe they gave you a 2N3904, maybe C945. In any case, that's a transistor that will work well, according to the person that designed it. And a good chance though, probably any, as long as it's the right NPN or PMP, will probably work. But uh, not, not always, so you gotta be a little careful. But most circuits, you can just swap one transistor for another as long as they have the same pin layout. As long as you connect what needs to go to the base to the base. So, in any case, again, I don't know if this is a PNP or not. If it's PNP, you can't swap these two transistors at all. So the arrow at the emitter. One thing that should help you, and uh, I could have drawn it, but the uh, arrow is pointing in the direction of current. So. We imagine current as flowing from the positive side of the power supply to the negative side right there. And usually we call the negative side of the power supply ground if it's a single power supply. So with the NPN bipolar junction transistor, you want the collector more positive, the emitter more negative. And so current flows this way. You can see the way that the arrow is going. And then with the base, the base can get to the same voltage as the emitter, which is probably zero volts at that time or it can go up to the supply voltage where it's more positive and so current flows from base to emitter. You put a small amount of current from base to emitter so usually there's a somewhat large value resistor right here and uh, a little bit of current from base to emitter 
allows a lot of current many times the uh, current from collector to emitter for the 2N3904 it's probably depending on certain conditions from 100 times to 300 times as much current that flows from collector to emitter as you put through the base to emitter so you actually control the current that you put base to emitter you just uh, determine it it's got a diode drop about 0.6 uh, volts like a uh, rectifier down but otherwise your uh, signal sets the uh, current going through it and uh, the voltage and based on that current there will be many multiples that will be allowed to go through there now if like you're not connected to anything up here no current's going to flow through so that's just something to be aware collector is usually more positive emitter more negative when it comes to the PNP bipolar junction transistor the emitter is more positive collector is more negative for almost all circuits right there and that's why we got the emitter arrow on top right there so emitter is more negative for the NPN more positive for the PNP and uh, so that's why you'll probably see the arrow up there but uh, you never know for sure Dep depends on how they uh, drop and uh, the base again when it comes to the current now I showed you the base to emitter current moving that way with the arrow here you can see the arrow is pointing from the emitter to the base so as I said that's usually more positive and uh, so current flows that way and again a small current flowing from emitter to base allows many times the current to flow from emitter to collector this time so currents go in the opposite direction through the emitter the collector and the base main takeaway though is small uh, base current leads to a large collector current and emitter so you learn more about how it takes advantage of that when you learn other circuits we're just uh, focusing on the schematic symbol right there so as I said before very low current and uh, you can also set a voltage at times but uh, the main thing is that there's a low current through base to emitter allows really a range of uh, voltages and current when it comes to the collector and emitter again topics you study more as you learn more circuits current can be managed with positive and negative so when it comes to the pin layout check the data sheet that's your uh, your best option there's also automatic testers you, there's like three pins you hit a button and uh, if you have a uh, one that automatically tests their pins then it will tell you their, their pin layout on the display. They're not that hard to use. But uh, otherwise, you, you may be able to use a multimeter to, to figure out, especially the base. Because when it comes to the base, so this is an NPN, bipolar junction transistor. You got P and you got N there. So if you use a diode tester, put the red probe to the P material, black probe to the N material, it will uh, let you know that there's diode conduction. Again, this is P-type material, that's N-type material, so red probe to base, uh, black probe to emitter, and you'll get the diode conduction. So, in any case, hopefully that all made sense. I'll put these into circuits in upcoming videos, and uh, they'll, they'll make more sense if this was confusing. At least, I hope they do. Transistors, uh, they can be overwhelming at first, but uh, hopefully it's, it's not too bad. We're staying really broad with this video, and... Uh, that will uh, what I covered here will make more sense with our upcoming video so hope you enjoyed make sure you check out the links below they all support my channel and uh, so I'd really like it if you check them out but in case I really appreciate you just watching videos too thanks for that I'll see you in the next video